Welcome to Modern Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First, episode 296. It's Saturday, the 7th day of July, 2018. My names are Dr. Jerry the First, Oguzir. I have a question for you and a solution to that question. Do you want to be happy again? Rediscover your unfettered childhood. There once was a small child playing in a wooded area. She had no toys, but she did have an inspired mind and the raw materials around her. She picked up a stick from the ground and ran towards the nearest tree. Just before running into the tree, she stopped and gasped in amazement. Looking up with her head slightly tilted to the left, she wondered where the tree began and where it ended. From her vantage point, it seemed to go on and on forever, and she couldn't quite comprehend how interconnected and vital that tree was to her and the world around her. But she knew there was something magical about it. While waving the stick in her hand, she began widely encircling the outer boundaries of the tree. She imagined warding off invaders who were trying to take over her kingdom. But she managed to protect herself and her tree. Time was never a concern as she played. But when the sun began to set, her mother called her inside for dinner. She hugged the tree and thanked it for playing with her. Then she dropped her salt stick at the base of the tree and ran inside. Her mom was cooking pasta, and she was so excited. Pasta was her favorite. She looked up at her mother with love and said, Thank you, Mama. But her mom's eyes were red and swollen from crying. Her mother was plagued with fear and depression because she worried daily about how she would continue to provide food for her children. And even though her mom was unhappy and it made her sad to see her mama cry, she was still happy. Happiness was a natural state of being. It floated around her everywhere, as obvious as stars in a clear night sky. But as she grew into an adult, her outlook on life changed. She questioned everything about her childhood and her life and shifted into a state of despair. Why is life so unfair, she wondered. Happiness to her was now nothing more than a mirage existing somewhere in the far-off distance that quickly dilutes and disappears as the distance grows shorter. Who am I? She uncertainly questioned. That little girl who once defended the kingdom with nothing more than a stick has somehow slipped away like her fantasies. She was replaced with an uncertain and fearful woman who was so caught up in her day-to-day -day life and living to survive that she stopped searching for more. The undertow of her day-to-day -day life was in control, pulling her further and further from the surface. And because she had been without oxygen for so long, she forgot she needed it to live. After all, she had bills, responsibilities, and a job. She grew complacent with life, never asking for or seeking more. She just settled for what was rather than what could be. But deep inside, she longed for the lost child within her and the happiness that was once unquestionably part of who she was. She is you. She is me. She is all of us. Somewhere along the way, we bury part or even all of the child within us. Perhaps it is because of a job, or a relationship, or a series of disappointing or traumatic life events. But whatever the reason, you can still find your inner child and harvest happiness back into fruition. You can still become happy again. So where do we begin? Here are seven ways to become happy again. Number one, recognize what is missing. When you acknowledge that your happiness is missing, this in itself is the first step to help you become happy again. Only through recognition will you develop the desire to shift your life into a new direction and take inspired action. 2. Quiet your mind. Happiness is the harvest of a quiet mind. So relax, close your eyes, 
and focus on your breathing. There are so many thoughts racing through your mind relentlessly, all vying for attention. Quiet those thoughts, especially the fear-based ones, and just breathe. 3. Ritualize happiness. Happiness is a choice, not a coincidence. So invite happiness in by making it part of a daily routine. Without happiness, there can be no true success. Because if you do not enjoy and love what you're creating and the life you're living, then you are not living as your true self. An easy way to ritualize happiness is to start it by repeating affirmations such as, I choose happiness, I choose love, I choose success, I choose right action. And then follow those affirmations up with gratitude. List three things you are grateful for every morning when you wake up. After 30 days, this becomes a regular part of your day and you begin to notice a shift in your perspective. Number four, let your imagination run wild. If you are still a child imagining your life today, what would it look like? Who would you be? Where would you be? What would you be doing? Allow your inner child to catapult you into another reality. A reality where you are worry-free, living without fear, and embracing happiness. Now, grab a journal and write down the answers to your questions. Don't worry about making sense of your thoughts. Just focus on writing. Now, how do you feel? Curious, inspired, or creative? Number five, color your life. Make your life beautiful and vibrant. Colors exist to be used and enjoyed. So let go of the black and white redundancy and embrace life's pigmentations. Create something, write something, go somewhere new and smile because there's nothing more beautiful or vibrant than you smile. Six, create good energy. You are made up of pure energy. We all are. Energy is what keeps the world as we know it, in motion and existence. That's why it's so important to create and put out good energy. Because what you put out is ultimately what comes back to you. So the more love, kindness and happiness you exude, the more love, kindness and happiness you bring into your own life. 7. Believe in yourself again. As Henry David Thoreau famously said, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you've always imagined. You are more powerful than you think you are. Tremendously so. But your inner kingdom cannot be ruled without a ruler. Believe in yourself and believe in your purpose. Even if you do not yet understand it or how it will come to be. Once you start to believe, you will unleash your personal power. And that power is a force to be reckoned with. Above all, remember there is a moment in time. And that moment is now. It is a moment it takes to change everything, to change your thoughts, change yourself, change your world, and perhaps even the entire world. So choose to be real and choose to be happy again. Until I come your way again, this is Morning Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First. This program is powered by Top It Up Media and Communication Nigeria. All rights reserved. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. It would please us to no end if you continue to visit our podcast. And so to be able to do that, kindly click on the red subscribe button towards your right to subscribe to our channel. In the same vein, also click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can always receive the notification for any new podcast we upload. Also give us a thumb up to like this podcast. These help us to grow. And do help us share the podcast to your friends in the different social media sites you belong to. Click on the share tab just below the podcast and share directly from there. The full text of this podcast is on our blog. And would you want to read it, kindly visit the blog. We have a Facebook page where we also post our podcast on a daily basis. 
If you're on Facebook, kindly like our Facebook page. The links to our blog and our Facebook page are in the description box right below. Thank you for your attention. Do have a very nice day.